got Johanna. This is like Chuk Sinya. How do I say it? Chuk Mong Sinya. Okay guys, stand next to the line. In a line, get the smallest to biggest. Okay. Smallest, I'm tiny, I'm tiny. I'm smallest to biggest, can you do that? Okay. No, no, in a line, in a line. Okay. Right, smallest up there, then the next one. Wait. Howie, you're over here. Who's taller? No, you're on the wrong side. Yeah, right out now. Uh, Raphael, you're on the end. Right, uh, okay, now I'll stand in line. There you go. Right, uh, now go from biggest to smallest. Change. Got right, everyone together now, everyone together. All right, perfect. Number we got twin saw. Mot bay lama. Mot bay lam, mot bay sao. So that's 175 and 176, isn't it? What's he done? Fongya Cave, this area up here used to be a beach. During the war, they stored a lot of things in here. Um, they had a hospital here. All the ferries used to come in from the first chamber under the low roof. That's why the boats have got a very low roof now. And they would come in and hide in here. Now... If you want to go back a thousand years ago, the Cham Empire used to come as far north as, say, the Haivan Pass. 
but the area from Haivan Pass to the mountain pass to the north of Kuang Bin, so Huai Province, Kuang Chi Province, and Kuang Bin Province, what is now that area, or Bin Tri Tien, um, that area was fought over between the Sino-Vietnamese Empire and the Cham Empire, and it used to change hands all the time. And while the Cham never held this area long enough to build their big stupas and their towers and things, they did hold it on and off all the time. And inside Phong Nha Cave here, there is stalagmites further down that have been broken off and turned into altars. And there's Cham graffiti all over the walls from the monks that used to come into the Phong Nha Cave a thousand years ago. The cave was discovered by the French, but it was already on the urns at the uh, citadel in Hawaii, so it was known about by the emperor and the Vietnamese. Um, the French discovered it, and there was actually some tourism here in the early 19, well, the mid 1940s. cave was next discovered by the British in 1990. A group of British uh, cave enthusiasts sent some letters out to Burma, Laos and Vietnam asking for permission to come to remote areas and explore caves in 1989. In 1990 they came to, they only got a letter back from Vietnam out of those three countries. They came to Vietnam and they explored all different areas around the north and they came to Phong Nha and on that trip, they explored Phong Nha Cave in eight kilometers. They couldn't find a way through. They had fresh air, they had uh, leaves, they had some insects, but they couldn't find a way through. So they came back. That's the only time anyone's ever been down there. Until last year, some guys went in through a cave eight kilometers that way, and they crossed over what they believed where the Brits had been. So. There is a passage through, they say now, as of last summer. Um, so this area is every year uh, teams of British, they, they call the British Caving Association, but there is Australians and other nationalities mixed in with them. They come and explore caves here and they find new caves and new passages every year. This area is still very unexplored. Okay, so now we're going to walk out along this brand new walkway and we're going to go out through to the uh, outside, past all the ladies that'll be trying to sell us stuff, um, and then we'll hop back in our boats. Thank you. Babe. Okay. Let's go! Right? go! <laughs> <laughs> I did say it's like go for the kids. <laughs>
El grey clouds wrapped round the town like elastic Cars stood like toys made of Taiwanese plastic The boy laughed at the spastic Dancing around in the rain While laundry's clean clothes High heels rubbed toes Puddles splashed huddles of bus stop crows Dressed in their suits and their boots Where they all look the same I took myself down to the cafe to find all The boys lost in books and crackling vinyl And carved out a poem above the urinal The red Don't you cry for the lost Smile for the living Get what you need and give what you're given Life's for the living, so live it Or you're better off dead Well, the evening brought the moon out of its packet Star shone like buttons on an old man's jacket We needed a nail, but we tacked it till it fell off the wall While pigeons pegged trains, sparks flew like planes The rain showed the rainbows in the oil stains When we all had new iPhones, but no one had no one to call Stumble down to the stomach of the town Where the widow takes memories to slowly drown With a hand to the sky and a mist in her eyes Yeah.